Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video from the beautiful woods in Palanga and we're gonna head back to the seaside which is just gorgeous. Today I want to talk to you about mindset because it's just so so important especially in the times we're living in today. I mean the world is full of negativity sadly right. I mean look at it what's happening in the world. I mean, basically can't go anywhere without reading negative headlines. But I don't know about you but when I speak to different people they always end up talking about challenges the world is facing. Electricity crisis, the Russian war in Ukraine, the China and Taiwan crisis, peaking inflation levels. I mean there's just so many things we could talk about right. And I think people are actually fueling themselves on that negativity because that's something that unites us all right. And those negative headlines is always something the news pushes because obviously that gets the clicks. But I think there especially is where the issue is. And the same here on YouTube right. When people say is this the end of Bitcoin? Is this the end of of investing these titles get clicks. If you title your video how I grew my portfolio by 3% per year probably nobody's really going to be interested in that. So negativity is known to get clicks and interest from people. But that's exactly where the problem is because I think people really will end up in the spiral of negativity. And one of the triggers for me recently that I experienced was when I spoke to my grandparents. I love them very much really I really do. They've been married for 45 years. They've seen so many things in the world so they really have a wealth of experience right. But when I called them recently and they said to me Kai we're just so happy that we don't have to live in these difficult times anymore or work in those times etc. I actually said to them wow I completely disagree. I think we're living in the most amazing times. Now hear me out I get it. We have so many issues. No worries no question about it. I mean definitely. But honestly speaking when I look back in the years we had before the times when my grandparents lived, my grand grandparent lived. I mean there were always issues. Well we didn't have Twitter, we didn't have Facebook, we didn't have Instagram where people immediately tweeted about all these things. Sometimes it feels like we're actually in the war because we have so much access to information. So I don't think that times were really better back then and uh, on the contrary I think even worse. I think the most amazing thing what we have in this generation is and what previous generations didn't have is opportunities. Because honestly speaking guys if the country you're living in is so bad I mean the chances that you'll be able to move to another country that has better opportunities I mean it's just so easy these days right. There are tickets virtually everywhere around the world and you can fly wherever you want to go. The same with starting your own business. I mean it's never been that easy to be able to start your own business. You don't even need to have huge investments. You can start a business online. I mean literally the cheapest way you put videos out there on the internet make some interesting content put an affiliate link people click and you get money. I mean it doesn't get simpler and easier than that and I know people making hundreds of thousands a year just doing that. So there really shouldn't be an excuse for anyone anymore to not be able to make money online. But at the same time you're feeling you're not an entrepreneur and that's totally fine. I don't think everyone can be an entrepreneur. It's something you have inside of you. You can work on it but it's something you really have inside of you I believe. So if you don't have that that's totally fine because I think it's also an employees market. Right now we're seeing people fighting scrambling for employees. So you're in a very good position to get high salary, to get a new position, to move to a new location for a new job. So so many opportunities and even changing industry has never been that easy. In the past whatever you studied that's kind of what you would be ending up doing. These days I know so many people that studied one thing but ended up working in something else. And that's amazing right and my grandparents didn't have that. My grandma learned to be a baker and that's what she did all her life. She couldn't just easily open up an online store, hire a food delivery company and sell her bakery things online right. It just wasn't possible. Today it is. So guys here we are back again at the beautiful beach looking absolutely gorgeous as always. Right so as I was saying I think opportunities are just endless. There's so many things out there that you can do that many generations before were not able to do so. But I think at the same time it also goes without saying that nothing comes for free right. You got to put in the work. I mean little shameless plug here but for me making this video right now I mean the ROI on this is very very little compared to what I'm normally earning with my time. So I don't want to sound arrogant but I do that because I enjoy it plus of course I see the long term potential by putting content out eventually more people will view it, will see it, will like it and the channel will grow and that will help of course. So I'm seeing the long term potential but right now for the last one and a half years I've been putting out these videos without much return for it. And honestly it takes time. I mean right now I'm on a weekend trip and I had to wake up really early to get the nice sunshine because it's going to rain in the afternoon. So instead of having a leisurely breakfast and enjoying time with friends and family you know I decided to get out here and make the video for you. And that's something you have to answer yourself. How much do you want it? How much do you want to fight to get to your dream life? And that's I think super super important. So I think you always have two choices because there will always be problems and challenges in our lives ahead of us. So we can either moan about and complain and find people that are also really really upset with the situation so we can all gossip about how bad it is and get excited about the negativity. Or and that's something I obviously advocate for. Secondly choose 
positivity. Look for solutions. Look at what you can control. COVID, war, these are things you and I, we cannot control, but we can control our mindset and the actions we take for it. Look at how many people benefited during these times. Now, I'm not saying that's good, but they saw the opportunity, they capitalized on it, and they executed accordingly. So they made the most out of it. So it's really in your hands, nobody else's. And it's up to you what you make with the information and the situation we're in. But I think, once again, the fact that we have opportunities, resources to make whatever we want to make with it, it's just absolutely amazing. That's why I'm so grateful to be living in the times we're living in. And it's actually interesting, whenever I overcome a challenge, I feel so grateful for the challenge because I know it made me stronger in the process. And I can honestly tell you, I had some real struggles in my life to go through, but honestly, I think it pushed me to where I am today. So it really made me stronger and I'm super grateful for this. So now, whenever I have a new challenge ahead of me, I see it in a positive way because I know it's put there for a reason for me to overcome it and make something out of it. I don't want to sound esoteric and I'm living in a cloud, but I generally believe that. The same with working out. I always say that you only get stronger by breaking down your muscle tissue, by fatiguing your body, for putting it under stress. And the same is true for your mental strength. If all day you sit at home and watch TV and the first stressful situation you're facing, you're going to panic. But if you've been running a company or led a big team and you have everyday stress, for you, it's just another day at the office, right? So the more we expose ourselves to these difficult situations, the stronger we get in the process. And I really think that's what the body needs to constantly develop and grow. Of course, guys, I love enjoying the good life, right? But if I was only sitting on my rocking chair at the beach, I wouldn't enjoy it as much because I do believe you can't enjoy the highs if you haven't experienced the lows. So life is cyclical, same as investing, and it's just part of life, right? So you have to go through these motions. But the most important, keep a positive mindset because otherwise you see life through negativity and you will see issues everywhere. Now I get it. It's very easy to say stay positive, right? But how do you actually do it? And I really think it goes back to the environment and the people you surround yourself with. There's a saying, you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with. And I think it's super, super true. Imagine your wife, your husband, your father, your mother, all of them are every day calling you, speaking to you, how bad the world is. They just got laid off. Electricity is going up. They lost their investments. Inflation is kicking in. All these things, which are of course true, right? I'm not saying that's not happening. I'm not delusional, right? These things are happening. I, I totally get it. My heart goes out for people losing their jobs. That's terrible. But let's be honest, this has always happened and always will happen, right? People lose jobs. That's just part of life. But how many people I know have lost their job only to find a better job afterwards. Rather than complaining about it, you want to have people around you that build you up, that show you new opportunities, that help you put together a new CV, apply for a new job. That's what I'm talking about, right? These are the kind of people you want in your environment. And of course, not everybody might be lucky enough to have those people around you. But for that, there's the internet, right? And that's what I did myself. In the beginning, I didn't have so many inspiring people next to me. That has changed. Now I do. I'm really grateful for my environment because they really uplift me. They really push me forward and really energize me every day. And a lot of them are much more successful than me. And for me, that's really something I want to emulate and that's inspiring for me and I want to get to the level where they are so for me that's great but again I know a lot of people who would turn that into negativity they would be envious of those people wow they have a big Porsche and so on but that's not how you're going to get forward in life you should get inspired by other people's success and aspire to replicate their success so for me it's been reading books about self-development and biographies from people that really achieved so much success in their life as well as listening to inspiring podcasts and there's so many out there which I really love because on the go while driving in the car I can listen to some of the greatest people being interviewed and learning from their success stories, their daily habits, etc. And you know, these are small nuggets of knowledge that I can take and apply for my own life. And lastly, of course, YouTube. I couldn't make a YouTube video without mentioning YouTube. For me, that's been one of the best schools where I learned so many things from so many thought leaders around the world, people that I will probably never meet in my life. But through YouTube, I feel like I know them so well and they're my best friends because I listen to so much of their content. And I just love it. And best of all, it's free. So guys, I hope my little rant inspired you because I really think we're living in the golden times. Let's embrace the challenges. Let's embrace the struggles and look at the opportunities and the actions that we can control and the steps we take to overcome those challenges. Every morning when I wake up and take my cold shower, I think of three things that I'm grateful for in my life and I try to always have three different things. And I can only recommend you to give it a go and you will see how many beautiful things you have in your life. Life is beautiful. Life is amazing. Have an awesome day, guys. And please do me a favor. Take one action today. It can be the smallest thing, but small steps, small actions every single day over time compound into great successes. With this, guys, as always, I thank you so much for watching. Stay healthy, get wealthy, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.